Welcome back, dear traders. Let's discuss market sentiment and ongoing trends of the New York station. Wall Street investors have been unnerved by global uncertainty for the whole week. Today, jitters have come down and investors regained appetite for risk, thus sending risky assets in the green. The market revived a faint hope for rescinding inflation. So, amid the lack of bad news, Wall Street could close the week with gains. The major stock indexes closed volatile yesterday's session up. The Dow Jones edged up 0.64%, the Nasdaq gained 1.62%, and the S&P grew 0.95% to close at 3,795 points. In the New York pre-market, Wall Street indexes are trading higher in a confidence, thus promising the long-awaited growth of the stocks. Market sentiment is a positive, unless new U.S. home sales lock decent figures, the S&P 500 is expected to trade in the intraday corridor between 3,810 and 3,980. The hawkish Fed supported American stocks yesterday. In the second testimony in the Congress, Powell promised an unconditional approach to curb inflation that would not push the economy into a downturn. The survey by market showed yesterday that business activity in the United States weakened in June because soaring inflation and the low consumer sentiment dented domestic demand. It might indicate that the U.S. economy has already stalled its economic growth. Thus, the Fed's auctions have produced the some effect. When in demand and mountain recession fears pushed the energy stocks down, the energy sector fell 3.6%, uh, extending its recent pullback. The sector has slumped 23% uh, in the last 10 days, uh, which is the sharpest 10-day fall for the recent 40 years. The stock market was inspired by the results of the Fed's annual stress test. Large American banks passed the test easily, reinforcing public trust in the sector. As a result, banks including J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Citigroup, Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs are entitled to, to use the excess capital to pay dividends and to purchase stocks for shareholders. The US dollar retreated further from the previous high, so meet investors worried about a looming recession. Today, its index is trading at nearly 104.20 with a bearish bias. The intraday calendar is seen between 103.90 and 104.30. Apart from the statement that recession is a realistic scenario, Powell confirmed further rate hikes to follow. Federal Reserve Governor Michel Bowman supported the idea of another rate hike by 75 basis points in July and some more rate hikes of a half a percentage point. There is a fly in the ointment, a significant fall in commodity prices toned down inflation fears and enable recovery in the stock market. This decreased demand for the safe haven assets on a particular the US dollar. Investors are speculating that the Fed could ease the pace of monetary tightening after the nearest rate hike of 75 basis points. Investors expect the funds rate to reach its peak at 3 0.5% in March 2023 and then to be reduced by 20 basis points by July next year. The USD card pair retreated from 1.30 and moved downward. Today, the currency pay is trading at about 1.2968 with a downward bias. The pay is likely to trade in the Canada between 1.2940 and 1.2990 today. A decline in prices of crude oil, the key Canadian exporters offsets expectations of a more aggressive tightening by the Bank of Canada. Oil prices sank to the lowest level in five weeks uh, on the back of recession fears and fading demand for energy. Today, oil prices have regained some losses in the context of the EU summit devoted to inflation in the energy market and the further energy policy. Brent futures grew more than $1 to $111.30 a barrel. Futures are still trading 2% below one-week highs and 10% below one month's highs. WTI rose 1.35% to trade at $105.76 a barrel. 
Bitcoin eventually regained its footing. Today, the well crypto market perked up in a tandem with the stock market driven by the high tech stocks. The flagship crypto has already gained 3.6% to trade at 21,271 points. The Ethereum surged to 9.3% to trade at $1, 1212 dollars And nevertheless, the overall sentiment is far from optimistic. Hughes-based cryptocurrency platform Harmony announced a draft of a tokens uh, worth $100 million. Notably, the crypto market is poised to neglect the negative years and Bitcoin aims to hit a new high of $22,400. If it's able to settle above, the price will move higher. Otherwise, the digital token will be stuck in the range between $21,000 and $22,000. And this is how Wall Street is finishing this trading week. We wish you a gainful profit taking before the weekend and see you on Light on Monday.